yes, my introduction into uh, archery was via this beast. Um, it's a 1960s English council house short bow. Um, basically, it's two bits of bamboo. You get two very similar pieces of bamboo, um, full ones. You go and steal them from someone's garden, someone's things like that as a kid. You go in, you know, and you get them very similar to cut. Then you find the most similar bits and you cut them off about three foot, about three foot, and um, you top and tail them. So you've got the uh, you've got the thin bit and the thick bit, and uh, thin bit and thick bit that side or thin bit that side. And then you just use insulation tape, tape them together, and um, you tape them together, and basically string it, and away you go. Now, the, the, the there was no knocks on any of the arrows. The arrows we made were out of bits of um, same thing stolen from people's garden, dowling and stuff like that. Things that we just see. And basically, we tip them like this, which is uh, a nail. Sorry, this one's already bent because it's been shot. Um, <laughs> bent nail. It's probably probably pick it with another bit of insulation tape going into the uh, thing. Like that. And we used to shoot each other with them. Um, I can attest to that. Um, actually, being shot by one uh, from about must have been about 25 yards. This kid he shot me. Um, I tried to jump over the arrow as it came in, but he caught me in the leg. And several days later, hospitalisation. And uh, I had to get, yeah, well, I got the arrow out and, and run because they were going to hit me with sticks. But uh, council houses, basically, council estates um, in England, if you're not in England, like um, the council estates are where they put the working class. They move them out from the inner cities and put them out on called them the reservations, um, council estates, and basically they used to be into fighting between different council estates, so if you, if you live in one council estate, you'd have a scrap with the boys from another council estate, like it was just a thing that went on. Nowadays they'd have, you know, things, you know, to say about it, but, um, it was, uh, but this bow, right, okay, I made, I, funny enough, I made it for my grand, my grandkid, because, he basically, I wanted to get him into archery and just get him outside and get him off the computer and everything like that. And it worked, actually. He loves it. But um, I was really quite impressed <laughs> how it, how good these little bows were. And it's a pinch grip because there's no, um, there's no uh, knocks or anything on the arrows because they're really, really basic. And the flights we used to do with um, Kellogg's packs. There's a car coming up. Okay. I'll, I'll just pause you for a second. Yes, as I said, actually, um, it's a pinch grip. Um, and the clever kids used to shoot like that. I could never shoot like that. Um, I'd have to shoot like that. Um, but the kid who shot me shot me like that. Oh, God, that hurt. Anyway, but these these are good fun. And, and when I'm, I'm thinking about it, um, I put this on the tiller um, back at home, and at 15 inches it pulled 35 pounds, which is quite impressive, really. I mean, a pinch grip, that's quite heavy for a pinch grip, actually. But um, it does shoot. Now, don't, don't take this, because I'm probably going to miss everything. does shoot quite all right. And there you go. Two, two arrows in the same spot. But um, yeah, so yes, the cheap, <laughs> totally free, um, totally free. Council House, 1960s, 1970 English, 19, uh, Council House Short Bow, I think we'll call it. A historic bow 
that could be used today for a bit of, um, if you say if you needed a survival bow or anything like that, um, the materials are readily available and bish bash bosh, you've got a quick survival bow. Um, the funny thing was when I, I, I shot this first time with my grandson, he said shoot it up in the air and see how high it goes. <laughs> so I got a car park outside the back of my house and uh, we shot it up in the air and it it went out of sight <laughs> and it came down um, over the behind the cottages, got a load of thatched cottages like because they live in England, rural England, over, over the thatched cottages and in a lane and I'm thinking oh my god I hope nobody's walking down the lane got an arrow in the back toe to the crown of the head but um, we found it on the floor and it hit the road and it smashed so it must be going in quite a crack. Anyway this one's not got a tip on it okay so I don't know what I'm going to do with the bedding. Nah, I don't know anything, but there you go. You can get a short button.